Hello and welcome to Centura's Power BI Visualizations Intermedia. My name is Patrick Powers, trainer, data architect, and developer here at Centurus. This module is on creating new columns and new measures. In this video, we will look at how to create new measures and enhance our visualization with custom columns. Your data source is never going to have every single field you might need. You'll need to create custom objects to handle all of your business requests. Power BI makes it easy to create new objects like tables, columns, or measures. Contextual tools are available for each of these object types. Creating new objects will require some knowledge of DAX. We will get into DAX more in depth in the next module, but for now we'll use some basic commands to create objects like the SUM function. When you're working with a new column, it does behave differently than a new measure. Columns will show up in the data view as they become part of the table. Measures will only show up in the report view as they're handled when you put them on a report page. For this first demo, we're going to create our own column to determine if a product is clothing or non-clothing. We'll do this using a basic DAX function. We'll also create a column to determine the average sales for clothing without altering any of our existing sales values. I'm going to add a new report page and under fields click on the dim product table. Here we see our contextual table tools and from the ribbon we'll select new column. The column editor opens here above the work editor and this is where we're going to type in our new column information. We've named the column is clothing and we've used the DAX switch function. A switch works like a case statement where we're looking at dim product size, we're checking to see if there's a value in that column, and if so, designating it as clothing. If there's no value, non-clothing. We could have done this different ways. We could have also checked this column to see if it was blank or null, and then applied non-clothing and everything else clothing. Here we're showing one example of how to use switch. Want to click on this check mark to commit my new column and I see it here under dim product and with the icon of a function to show that this is a calculated column. Under fields click on fact internet sales we'll create another new column we'll call the column average sales it'll be equal to fact internet sales sales amount. We're using an existing field with no functions so that we can make this have different aggregation than our existing sales amount and none of our other reports will be affected. Commit the column and with that column selected we're going to set this to currency, two decimal places, and don't summarize. This way we can change it in the visualization itself. Let's build our visualization. From the visualizations pane click on the table icon and adjust it to fit the height of your canvas. From dim product, add product name. And from fact internet sales, we'll add sales amount, order quantity, and our average sales. In the visualization pane, under values, click the down arrow next to average sales. Set this to an average. Note the name change it's now average of average sales. We can change that by clicking the down arrow again, rename, and we'll rename it to average sales amount. From dim product, take our new column is clothing, and we want to drag it to the filter pane for our table. Make sure it's set to basic filtering and check require single selection, and let's click on clothing. Here are our products that are designated as is clothing, our sales amount, how many were ordered, and the average sales amount. Next we'll create new measures. Normally Power BI looks at a field and determines if it's a measure or a dimension and then creates the calculation and creates aggregation, but we may need custom measures to perform more complex calculations. When we create a new measure, it's defined as a model measure. Model measures can be used in other calculated measures or columns. This time, instead of creating an actual column, we're going to create new measures. They're only going to show up here on the report page, 
and they will not show up in the data view. We're going to create a measure that shows our profit, then build a visualization from it. I'm going to create a new page, click on Fact Internet Sales, and from the Table Tools contextual ribbon, we'll do New Measure. Just like with our new column, our input area is above the canvas. The formula for this is going to be profit equals some fact internet sales sales amount minus some fact internet sales total product costs. Notice the use of the DAX function sum and we've named it profit. Click on the check mark to commit and we see our new field here with a different icon than our columns. And let's go look at our data view. If we click on fact internet sales, while profit still shows up as a field, it does not show up here in the data view. Go back to the report view, and we'll add a line visualization to our canvas. Resize it to fit the canvas, and let's add some data fields. From dim order date, date hierarchy, we're going to add year, and we're going to add month. In the visualization, right-click on year and expand to next level to take it down to the month level. From dim customer, add country to the legend. Lastly, we'll add our new profit to the values drop zone. That concludes this module where we learned how to create new columns and measures in our data. In our next installment, we'll be diving deeper into the DAX language. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check back for the next entry in the series. Thank you for watching.